If you're changing your battery because of starting issues, one of the first things you should check is the infamous drivetrain ground strap. It's one of the easiest parts on the car to overlook, yet it can cause so many electrical troubles. Since the transmission and engine are insulated by rubber mounts, the ground strap is the only significant ground to the engine. If the strap is missing or disconnected, your car will not start. The battery is located in the front trunk compartment. Turn the plastic tie downs to remove the black cover. Yellow arrows. Always disconnect the black colored negative or ground connection first from the battery posts as indicated by the green arrows. If you are just working on your vehicle and want to disconnect the battery, this is all you need to disconnect. There is no need to disconnect the positive hot lead to your battery. Make sure you set the ground strap aside somewhere where it cannot accidentally make contact while you're working on the car. If you're replacing the battery, take note of the vent hose, blue arrow, and make sure you don't forget to hook that up to your new battery. If you're replacing the battery, then remove the positive cable as well. Then simply loosen and remove the hold down clamp that attaches the battery to the chassis as indicated by the yellow arrow. Stand inside the trunk and lift the battery out of the car from there. They are very heavy. Either that or get a friend to help. The insert in the upper left hand corner shows the permanent attachment to the battery tender cable to the negative lead. A handy device I like to install on all my cars is a battery cutoff switch, lower insert. Installation of this switch on the battery ground allows you to remove the green knob and shut off all power to the car. An added tip, connect a small inline fuse from one end to the other and a small amount of current will continue to flow, keeping your radio and DME from being cleared out when the battery is disconnected. Installation is the reverse of removal. Whenever I pick up a new car, I almost always install one of these within the first few weeks. The battery tender is a necessary tool if you're not planning on driving your car every day. It plugs into the wall and trickle charges the battery so it won't run down. Although the kit comes with alligator clips for temporary installations, I prefer to hardwire the charger into the battery and simply leave the charging unit in the bottom of the trunk. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.